So how do we recognize these external saboteurs? A great first step is to reflect on past experiences. Think about times when you enthusiastically shared your God-given dreams with someone and someone shot them down repeatedly. That, my sister, is a red flag. Also, take a look at your relationships. Are there people who consistently drain your motivation to make you feel less than? And after those encounters, you find yourself depending upon their opinions and depending upon their approval before you feel comfortable moving on with your dreams? Well, it's time to identify those toxic influences in your life. Another challenge is motivation and the thoughts you allow to run through your mind. We all know life gets busy, right? Between work, family, and everything else, it's easy to let our goals slide down the priority list. And some of us waste our precious time because we're trying to live our lives through others. You know, Philippians 4 says, finally, my brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, right, pure, and lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about those things. And you see, this takes practice. It takes time. You've got to train your mind to do this. And surrounding yourself with positivity and supportive people can be a game changer in your life. Keep a spiritual note. Notice I didn't say mental note, but keep a spiritual note of those who lift you up and those who pull you down. This could be the difference between pursuing your dreams and letting them fade away.